How's it going? I'm Jeremy with MS Videos, and I'm going to give you the quick and easy way to modify your SIG 365 to fit other grip modules in California. This is not anything to do with legalities. This is just simply how you would do the work. I will let you decide if it's legal or not, so we're just going to leave that how it is. I'm just going to show you how to take the gun apart, remove the fire control unit, remove the magazine disconnect, and then reassemble. First thing you're going to do, lock the slide open, like so. Push down on your takedown lever, drop the slide, pull it off the top. Next thing you do, grab your punch and push out the pin in the back of the fire control unit of the grip module. And then pull it out, like so. Lift up on the fire control unit like so and then this is where you have to be careful because you can really mess things up so I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing with my hands all right so jumping in here we've got our fire control unit and you need to take this piece out right here right here to be able to install it into a different grip module first thing you have to do is remove the safety I like to push this back up just so that things don't move until I'm ready to I grab a very small flathead and I put it underneath the spring on the detent of the safety and I rotate the safety up so I can push in on that detent and just slowly rotate it and then let off the tension slowly so it doesn't shoot out because this is under spring tension you want to keep that spring installed into the safety once I pull it out you'll be able to see it easier and then you've got to finesse this guy out usually you just have to rock it left or right a little bit till it finds its groove pops out right there of the fire control unit so there is the manual safety removed from the fire control unit. Just set it to the side. Make sure not to lose that detent. And once you do that, we're going to come over here. And right here, this little takedown lever, this little pin, we have to lift up and rotate forward uh, 180 degrees to get this bar out. This piece here that you can't really see because my finger's blocking it is on that same pin. So if you pull it too far, that drops down and now you've got a full rebuild of a fire control unit. We try and avoid that. Simply take your flathead, come underneath the edge of this pin, lift it up, and I mean an eighth of an inch, not very much. And without rotating the fire control unit left or right, you grab some small needle nose pliers and simply rotate it 180 degrees around, and then push it back in so that this piece does not fall out. And once that's done, you take your flathead again and just use it as a tool to lift up, sorry, forgot one step, you have to rotate this piece back down like you're taking the gun fire control unit out of the gun and doing a field strip. Now you can lift this bar up and out of the way. Once that's done, your takedown lever here can be put, removed, rotated all the way forward, and then just simply pull it out of the gun like so without moving your slide stop. So without, rot without doing anything else, you want to flip the fire control unit over so you can access this pinhole and take your tiny little pin punch and push this in so you can pull that pin out which just fell out right there and take keep in mind there is a skinny side and a fat side the skinny side goes in when you reassemble now that that's done flip your fire control unit back over and simply lift out the magazine disconnect and then immediately before you do anything else reinsert this pin so that nothing falls off on the trigger bar. Once you get it back in, you just wiggle it till it falls all the way back into place. And then you need to make sure that right here goes all the way flush against the frame. You can't leave any gap there else it won't go back together. So I use my pin punch and I just push on it. And while I'm pushing, wiggle the trigger till it pops into place. If it doesn't want to go first try, sometimes you just have to let the tension off and try again. There it goes. Now we're locked back into place. Now you're gonna flip it back over to the other side so you can put your bar back in. This is where it gets tricky. You have to insert your takedown lever most of the way in. So you line it up, push it all the way in, but now you have to leave it partially removed to the back so you can access the hole in the bottom for this part of this bar has to fit into that hole that's in there. So you have to leave it partially exposed to get that to line up. Once you get that lined up, get the back 
to sit inside there. Now this is where you have a little bit, you have to do kind of three things at once. You have to take your flathead and now lift up onto that pin in the back again and rotate it 45 degrees back, I'm sorry, 90 degrees back so that you can get that bar to line up. And you have to do that while keeping the fire control unit flat or else that other part will fall out and that is no good. Now once you have it pretty much lined up, you're going to lift up on the slide stop and slide this bar all the way to the rear so that it will find its hole right there. And then this will all be locked into place. Now you have to lift up on this pin again and rotate it back into its locked position 180 degrees back down the other way. And then push it back into the firearm all the way till it's seated at the bottom without losing that place. Now this is ready to be reassembled back into the gun, but you do need to put your safety back into the firearm. So hold it upside down, put the detent to your left side. If you're holding this with your left hand, put the detent facing the left side and rotate it back into the gun until it falls into its groove. And now remember this thing's under spring tension. So if you let go, it's gonna shoot across the room and you're gonna be searching for a tiny pin for a very long time. So what I do is I use my flathead and I push down on the spring and then without putting anything else. I simply rotate it into its groove. One little shot and it locks that detent into place. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And now you're ready to lock that back down. Put it back into the grip module trigger side first. Locks into place. Reinsert your pin in the back and you're good to go. Make sure everything works. <clears throat> Insert it, the slide back onto the gun and cycle check everything. Now we're reassembled. Like, check that. This does have, no longer has a magazine disconnect in. So with the magazine in, it should fire. Cycle, reset the trigger. That's good. Now if you take the magazine out, it should still fire. It does. So now we have successfully removed the magazine disconnect from a SIG 365. And now because that is gone, it will fit into any of the grip modules that SIG offers. I'm leaving it up to you guys to check legality on that. I'm not going to tell you if it's legal or not because that's not on me. That's on you to find out. But as far as I believe it is legal because you're just buying the gun in the configuration that is legal, but then just removing an unnecessary safety. That's my personal opinion. I'm not a lawyer. And I'm going to get back to work because i got people waiting. MS Videos, we out.